good morning students welcome to the organic chemistry lecture series uh, in this lecture we are going to study about the concept electrophilicity and acidity so before listening this video you must have watched the previous video about nucleophilicity and basicity so that it will be very easy to you understand these two concepts also okay now before uh, study about this electrophilicity what is mean by electrophile we know that electrophile is any species which is electron deficient okay so the species which is electron deficient is called as electrophile which accept the electron from nucleophile to form the bond in organic chemistry there is a reaction between nucleophile and electrophile if we take any reaction then in that reaction in the starting material one of the reactant will be nucleophile and another reactant will be electrophile so there is a always bond formation between electrophile and nucleophile nucleophile donates electron electrophile accept electron because it is the electron deficient species and we know that according to levis acid concept of acidity acid is any species which is having empty orbital to accept the electrons so what is levis acid levis acid means any species which is having empty orbital to accept the electrons so we can say that all electrophiles are lewis acid but we cannot say that all lewis acids are electrophiles okay so remember this concept the examples of electrophiles are this proton h plus no plus no2 plus uh, halogen with plus charge uh, this r plus that is any alkyl group with positive charge we can say carbocation Uh, then these are aluminium trichloride iron chloride these are the lewis acids in this aluminium trichloride aluminium has empty orbital to accept the electrons similarly in this fecl3 also iron has empty orbital to accept the uh, electrons in this sncl4 also uh, this sn has empty orbital to accept the electron that's why these are the lewis acids okay and these are the positively charged species that means electron deficient species so all these are the examples of electrophile now what is electrophilicity what is electrophilicity it is the strength of electrophile so how the strength of electrophile is compared if we take two electrophiles and we have to study their strength then that strength can be studied by this concept electrophilicity so what is electrophilicity it is the rate at which lewis acid forms bond with substrate we know that electrophile always attacks on nucleophile or nucleophile always attacks on electrophile to form the bond so what is electrophilicity how fast an electrophile forms bond with nucleophile how fast electrophile forms bond with electrophile that term is called as electrophilicity okay so if the good nucleo uh, if the nucle uh, electrophile is good then its electrophilicity will be higher so the electro electrophile which is having higher electrophilicity can be called as a better electrophile so the relative strength of electrophile can be measured in terms of this term electrophilicity and what is it it is the rate at which electrophile forms a bond with substrate and that substrate is probably nucleophile so it is kinetic term it is kinetic term because we are studying the rate at which electrophile forms bond with substrate so it is kinetic term so if it is kinetic term then we know that it will affect the rate of reaction a rate of reaction what is rate of reaction rate of reaction is just how fast the reaction is going on so the rate of reaction is affected by this term electrophilicity if the electrophilicity is higher then the rate of reaction will be higher if the electrophilicity is lower then the rate of reaction will be lower so in this way electrophilicity affect the rate of 
reaction so it is it is relative term in nucleophilicity also we have seen that it was relative term so what is relative term Rel relative term means it is ratio it is ratio as we uh, compare the strength of electrophiles so we uh, we can we can call it as a relative term so if we consider the positive electrophiles like this H plus, NO plus, NO2 plus and if we consider the neutral electrophiles like this AlCl3, FeCl3, SO3, SnCl4. So in these positively uh, charged electrophiles and uh, neutral electrophiles, positively charged electrophiles have higher electrophilicity as compared to these neutral electrophiles okay so this is one of the important concept uh, you have to remember so this is all about the concept electrophilicity i think you all understand this concept if you have any doubt then write it in the comment section so that we can discuss it in the uh, further lecture so we'll move towards then about this concept that is acidity okay now consider what is acidity now you know acid what is acid what is acid acid is a species which loses proton okay acid is the species which gives proton or acid is the species which accept the electron that is called as acid now what is acidity acidity is the extent to which a species loses proton acid means the substance which lose proton or gain electron so how fast how fast a species loses proton or accept electron that is measured by the term called as acidity okay so it has absolute value and measured in terms of k or pka now how this k or pka is calculated we will consider by this general uh, uh, equation say consider the ha is a general acid ha is general acid because it has h to give so ha is general acid so if we do the dissociation of this HA, then there is a formation of H3O plus cation and A minus anion. Okay. Now if we calculate the Ka of this equation, then we know that this dissociation constant is nothing but concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant. So Ka is equal to concentration of H3O plus into concentration of A minus divided by the reactant concentration okay so we can calculate the value of ka by using this equation and once we get the value of ka then it is very simple to calculate the value of pka by this equation just take the minus log of this ka so that we get the value of pka so this term pka determines the acidity if the pka value is more that means acid is less strong we can say and if the pk value is less then acid is more stronger so it is inversely proportional relationship between pk and acidity so smaller the value of pk stronger will be the acid and greater the value of pk weaker will be the acid so the so the strong acids must have the value of pk small remember this again uh, this acidity term is thermodynamic term and if it is thermodynamic term then it will affect the position of acid base equilibrium we know that it depends upon the concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant so this term ultimately affects the position of acid base equilibrium so we can compare the strength of two acids by this concept acidity we can compare the strength of acids by the concept called as acidity so i think you all have understand this concept acidity okay so now we will move forward and we'll summarize the point of differences between acidity and electrophilicity okay now we will uh, see the difference between electrophilicity and acidity so first of all see electrophilicity what is electrophilicity it is a rate at which the electrophile forms bond with substrate we have seen this the electrophilicity is the rate at which electrophile forms bond with substrate and substrate uh, will be probably what 
nucleophile. So the rate at which electrophile forms bond with nucleophile that is called as electrophilicity. Now what is acidity? Acidity indicates the uh, extent to which acid loses proton means how fast acid loses proton or how fast acid accepts the electron that is termed as a acidity okay this electrophilicity is relative term it is a ratio we know that and this acidity has absolute value in terms of k or pk so we can calculate the absolute value of acidity by using this pka and what is pka pka is the negative logarithm of this ka so smaller the value of pk greater will be the acidity okay now this electrophilicity is kinetic term kinetic term and as this is kinetic term it affect on the rate of reaction it affect on the rate of reaction if the electrophilicity is higher rate of reaction is higher if the electrophilicity is lower rate of reaction is lower now this in this acidity it is the thermodynamic term it is thermodynamic term so it will affect only on the position of acid base equilibrium it will affect the position of acid base equilibrium so in this way we have seen the point of differences between the electrophilicity and acidity i think these two concepts are clear to you now uh, students remember uh, these four concepts uh, what we have seen in the earlier lecture that is nucleophilicity and basicity and in this lecture what we have seen electrophilicity and acidity these four concepts are very important uh, if we consider the knowledge of fundamental organic chemistry and we get most of the time confused between what is nucleophilicity and basicity what is electrophilicity and acidity but don't get confused these are very different terms and very important if we consider the knowledge of basic organic chemistry okay so this was the uh, introductory part of this topic in this we have seen what is uh, bond fission homolytic bond fission heterolytic bond fission uh, then we have seen in the next lecture what is reaction intermediates transition states and finally we have seen the four concept nucleophilicity electrophilicity acidity in last two lectures okay so we will stop here. Have a nice day. Thank you.